Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Math Bell Ringer. This is Mr. Geiger, and today is Wednesday, January 13th, 2021. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first problem on here today. So it says, write a variable expression for the given statement. The quotient of Q and 4 subtracted from 12. The quotient of Q and 4 subtracted from 12. Go ahead and write this expression and come back whenever you're finished. All right, welcome back. So what we're looking at here is the quotient of Q and 4. So what do we need to do here? Well, we need to write out the quotient of Q divided by 4. That is what quotient means. And this is going to be subtracted from 12. So 12 minus the quotient of Q and 4. This is how you write that out. The quotient of Q and 4 subtracted from 12. Okay, let's go ahead and move along here. So now we're going to use PEMDAS to solve this correct order of operations, okay? So use PEMDAS, and we are going to come back whenever we are finished. Welcome back. So PEMDAS means parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So now what we're going to do is we're going to solve this problem over here looking at our order of operations. The first thing I see are parentheses. 5 plus 6 is 11. Now, I know multiplication and division come together here. The way that we do this is it's not always multiplication first. We have to look to see which one comes in order first. And it will be actually 88 divided by 11 that we do first. 88 divided by 11. If we count by 11, so that's 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, and 88. That is eight times eight times four now eight times four is 32 so our answer to this problem is 32 all right great job everyone let's go ahead and move along now we're actually going to solve this exponent go ahead and solve this exponent remember what do you do when you have five to the fourth power go ahead and solve this exponent come back whenever you're finished all right, welcome back. So we're going to solve this exponent here. So we're going to multiply 5 four times. 5 times 5 is 25. Times 5 is going to be... 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 2 is 12. 125. We're going to multiply the last 5. 125 times 5, 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6, 625 is our answer. All right, great job. Let's go ahead and move along. And here's our last problem for the day. 2x minus 7. So we're going to be plugging in these numbers into the variable. Go ahead and solve these and come right back whenever you're finished, okay? So welcome back. We have uh, 11 here is our first one. And remember, when we have where x is 11 and we're substituting in, that's 2 times 11 minus 7. And then 2 times 11 is 22 minus 7, that equals 15. All right, now let's solve it for where x is 12. Okay, welcome back. So we're solving it for x equals 12. 2 times 12 minus 7. Well, 2 times 12 is 24 minus 7, and that equals out to be 17. All right, go ahead and solve it for x equals 13 now. Welcome back. So now we're going to solve it for x equals 13. 2 times 13 is 26, minus 7 equals 19. All right, great job today, everyone. Great job with your math bell ringer, and I will see you again tomorrow for your next bell ringer. Have a great day, everyone. See you next time.